what is up guys Dave back again for another truck and vlog and as the title reads I guess whatever I decided to title it this is my last load with CFI I quit I've decided to take a different approach to things and there's gonna be some fun stuff coming real soon now we are picking up in Lacombe, Louisiana. I just come back off of home time. Uh, this is the Folgers plant. I've been here several times before. Actually, what's funny is my very first home time that I ever took, this was the first place I picked up coming off of home time was at this Folgers plant. And I wanna say I waited here about 12 hours until my load was ready. So I'm hoping that my last load does not go this way again at this place. We will see. And then we are taking that to our West Memphis terminal where I will be dropping off my truck for the last time. So yeah, without further ado, let's go pick up our last load. feels weird being my last load man I won't lie it does you know all right we got about a quarter mile and we're gonna take a right right up here watching the satellite for the turn in is it this one here I don't think it's this one right here no that is not a road to work yeah there's a turning lane up here to get into it I remember now it's been a little while since I've been to this one uh, I have been here twice after home time before though all right my GPS always says there's a 20 ton weight limit on this road right here, but there's absolutely no other way to get to this place. So I mean, I don't know if the GPS is wrong or what, but oh, they even got a little sign there now that says uh, Folgers. The best part of waking up is Folgers and your cup. Oh, slow down, Dave, it's bumpy. It's a tobacco free site. I'll be damned. 15 miles an hour through here. I do believe I got to slide the tandems. I also had to uh, sweep the trailer last time. So before I left my house this morning, I actually got back there and sweeped the trailer uh, because I know that they're going to ask me if it's clean or if it's swept. And if it's not, they have a broom, they have a garbage can, everything to go freaking uh, do it. Let's read this sign again. I ain't couldn't have got a little bit over more than that, bud. <laughs> All in the middle of crap. Shipping and receiving, shuttles only, blah, blah, blah. Shipping and receiving's left where that truck is. Yeah, of course. I do believe you got to slide the tandem. I'm not sure. We're going to read the signs. I'm hoping not because it's a three series and this one's a pain to slide, man. I've struggled with this trailer several times. And I had to go home with it and everything else, so. I think this sign is the one that says what you need to do, basically. Let's see. Yep, please slide tandems and open trailer doors and empty trailers. So we're gonna do that right here. Oh my God, it went up easy that time. It's just hard from when, like, when it's sitting for a while, they get kind of stuck. So, yep, I sweep this whole trailer. It was so dirty, man. It was, y'all don't even know how dirty it was. There was tractor supply, like seed and uh, citronella or whatever, that mosquito stuff spilled all in here. It was everywhere, as you can see. Uh, I guess I didn't do a perfect. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I swept it as good as I could. There's a damn cockroach running out there. There we go. Make sure she slides pretty good. Maybe we have to go backwards first. I don't know. We'll see. Nope, slide. Man, it's just sliding good. I had trouble with this trailer the first load I took in it, but now it's working pretty good. All right, guys, let me check in. I'll be back. Okay, so she said pull up past the building and then go close your doors. Great.
I'm just so ready to get on the road, guys. Like, you don't even know. I just want to get on the road. Be like, done. Okay, pretty easy. Location to be dropped, 506. Location to be picked up, 503. So, that's what it said on there. Um, obviously, it said if there's something in the spot, then you uh, drop it somewhere else in, in the drop area or whatever. 15 miles an hour through here. I do know it's one way. You can't go that way. It's all one way around this building. Because there was a time when... Uh, I think there was a time that I did turn around or something. What was I doing? I think I was backing or something. And like the yard dog, man, look at all these geese over here. I think the yard dog was like, what are you doing? I was like, man, I was turning around to back. He's like, oh, okay. I thought you were going, going that way. I was like, no, I'm good, man. Look at the geese. Look at the geese. <laughs> hey, goose gooses. Quack, 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 quack. What sound do geese make? Quacks? Do they quack? I don't know. They don't make a lot of sound, do they? They do a little bit. They're like, maybe they make this high pitch or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, swing this wide in case anybody else is... Well, it's one way. So nobody should be coming around, but a yard jockey might. A lot of times you see them going the wrong way. You know why? Because they can. That's why. Nice little pond. He's all by himself. He ain't got no friends. <laughs> little goose out there just swimming in the water by himself. He's outcasted, man. They didn't like him. Uh, I think it's going to be on the right. Yeah, that's why I was turning around. I knew I was turning around because I had to back it in somewhere and I didn't want to blindside. I don't see no numbers on these. I think it's on the back fence. I think the numbers are on the back fence. In all honesty. That's why I was turning around. Yeah, because Yard Dog asked me what I was doing. And I was like, it's 531. He asked me what I was doing, and I was like, man, I'm turning around to be able to back. Like, I know it's one way, but, you know, I gotta back it into the spot. It might be right here. It might be right here, or that one next to it. Let's see. 508, yeah, 506, right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, hell. This is what we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot my tandems are all the way freaking back. Did I nail it? I sure did, boys. Oh, okay. We're going to have to back up. We're going to have to push it as far to the right as we can. And then we got to pull up to the uh, left again. Okay. Now it's, we got to pull up to the left just a little bit more to get that trailer to where it's gonna go in just like that beautiful <laughs> I just at the last minute decided to do this rather than turn around but it worked I got I'm gonna get it it's fine I forgot my tandems were all the way back so it takes longer for it to come around I was like oh shoot we got it we are in there look at that Look at Dave on his last load hitting that back like that. That was a pretty good one. I saw this empty space up here and I was like, I got that yard dog's back there. He's impressed. Yeah, that's pretty good right there, CFI. That's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sitting there too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He don't care. He really doesn't. But you know he was watching me. You know they do. One of y'all that watch my videos, you are a yard jockey, and you said, oh yeah, we watch. <laughs> That's probably your best entertainment of the day, watching guys try to get into spots, especially ones that are struggling, ain't it? Well, I was clean before I went and freaking spun that landing gear and all this muddy brown water came out all over me. I was clean from the house this morning. And then that. Anyways, dropping the bags right now. That landing gear sucked. It was terrible. There we go. 
now. Uh, let's see if we can aim for this CFI over here. I'm doing pretty good on my last load. <laughs> All right, guys, we are up out of there, headed to security now. A new message has been received from dispatch. And Subject on board backslash new work put on the board at 824 and 16 seconds, 7 slash 17 slash 2021. Thanks. Anyways, <laughs> and then we're headed to West Memphis. And that'll be it, man. That'll be a wrap. Which is about, I don't know, seven hours, eight hours, something like that. I shouldn't make it today. Shouldn't be no problem. I'm only driven for an hour today. So, yeah, I'll be there today, barring any crazy trafficness and everything else. And I'll be good to go, man. That's a wrap. Anyways, I'll be back with y'all when I get out of security. All right, guys, we are out of there with my last load. I need to stop for a second and see what the weight is on this because she just handed me my paperwork. So I'm going to sit right here, see what the weight is because I think I got to go get weighed. I think it's heavy. I'm looking at my suspension here. It's kind of heavy. 36,716, so it's close. But the last thing I want to do is get a freaking ticket. You know, it's not that heavy, but I don't want to get a freaking ticket on my very last freaking load because I didn't weigh myself. A lot of times looking at the suspension gauge sitting right on the 50 and then uh okay there's a petro in 36 miles so yeah i just don't know how evenly balanced it is or anything you know so i'm gonna stop at that petro get weighed make sure we're good and then we'll be headed to west memphis so the rest of this video guys is gonna be when i get to west memphis later on this evening it's uh six hours away actually i was thinking seven from here but it's six uh so yeah i gotta stop and get weighed then i'll be up there i'll be back with y'all when we drop the very last trailer that i'm gonna drop for cfi Oh
fill up, girl. One oh one four. You've been a good truck. Not many problems. Few hiccups now and then. We 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 had a few hiccups now and then. But you've been pretty good overall. You've been pretty good, old girl. Should have got you a bath before I dropped you off, huh? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You've been a good truck. Whoever gets you next is gonna be one lucky driver. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Just stay tuned to what happens next. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape. Into the great unknown Escape To a world we don't know Escape Into the great unknown